Welcome to the SME 2 Minute Drill, where we cover a ThoughtSpot feature in two minutes or less. In this video, we're covering underlying data and the query visualizer. The clock is running, so let's get started. So just by looking at this search, we can tell it's pretty complicated. It's using the in keyword so that we can grab the top five vendors for the sale, by sales in Arizona, and then look at the gross profit for those vendors by department description. So what if I wanted to see the underlying data associated with this? Well, there's two ways of doing that. You can toggle back and forth between the visualization and the data table that exists behind that visualization. If you wanted to look at it for a specific value, like this one right here, I can just right click, say show underlying data, and it's gonna filter it to just that gross profit for these combinations of attributes. So now that we've seen the data, what if we wanted to see how that data was computed? And that's as easy as just going over to the query details. It's gonna show you how ThoughtSpot computed that metric for each combination of attributes. If you go into the query visualizes, visualizer, we get a little bit more details about this. We can see both of the queries that were generated, the combination of them, as well as the join paths, the keys, the fields, everything that really goes into the query. And the best part on top of that is you can also generate the query SQL for that if you wanna dig in and dive deeper into how exactly ThoughtSpot got to that specific visualization. So it's very robust. If you would like to follow along with our two minute drill, you can download this exact data set from our website at the link below. Until next time, this has been a SME two minute drill for ThoughtSpot.